Today we'll discuss the Golang Fiber Framework, which is very similar to Express.js, but it has the claim to be a better performing alternative. Watch till the end to see Fiber's limitations we noticed. You're on the Jelvix channel, tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. What is GoFiber? It's an Express-inspired web framework built on top of Fast HTTP, the fastest HTTP engine for Go, designed to ease things up for rapid development with zero memory allocation and performance in mind. By the way, if you want to know more about the best Node.js frameworks, check out the article we've prepared. The link is in the description. So how to use Fiber? Let's look at a simple Hello World example. To get started, Open a folder to save your file using your favorite text editor to get started. To install any dependency in this folder, initialize the directory using go mod. Run this command in your terminal. go mod init example.com slash username slash folder, where example.com can be any website where you store your code. The username is your username, and the folder is the folder name in which you want to keep the files. Running this command will create a go.mod file in your working directory. This go.mod file tracks all the dependencies used in the project. Now that the go.mod file is created, you're ready to install Fiber as a dependency. Run go get minus u github.com slash go fiber slash fiber slash v2 in your terminal to download the dependency. Now, once you get a basic understanding of Fiber, it's time to move on to the framework's features. Fiber's low memory footprint allows you to implement features without worrying too much about how much memory your application will use. Fiber is famous for its robust routing. The Express-like route definitions are easy to understand and work with. The next important point is serving static files. It allows serving HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files with ease by defining static routes. You can also serve the contents of multiple directories on the same route. Besides, since Fiber is built on top of fast HTTP, your apps will enjoy the unmatching performance. Here's a benchmark that proves how Fiber shines compared to other frameworks. What are your thoughts on Fiber performance? Share them in the comments section. The next argument for its API readiness, Fiber is the perfect choice for building REST APIs in Go. Besides, thanks to the well-designed and easy-to-learn API, Fiber allows developing your application at record speed. You can also use flexible middleware support to verify and manipulate certain requests in your app before they reach your controller. One more benefit is Fiber support of multiple template engines, such as Handlebars and Pug, thanks to the template middleware. Finally, Fiber has WebSocket support. This means you can build fast, interactive user experiences with performance and scalability guaranteed. Despite notable advantages, Fiber has some limitations. First, due to Fiber's usage of unsafe, the library may not always be compatible with the latest Go version. Besides, it's not compatible with net slash HTTP interfaces. This means you won't be able to use projects like GQL Gen, Go Swagger, or any others which are part of the net slash HTTP ecosystem. To give you an even better understanding of Fiber, Let's briefly compare it with Express Framework. First, let's talk about benchmarks. Fiber, 6,162,556 responses per second with an average latency of 2.0 milliseconds. Express, 367,069 responses per second with an average latency of 354.1 milliseconds. Fiber is much faster than Express. It happens, as Fiber uses Golang, compiled, and Express uses JavaScript, interpreted language. A classic example for every web framework is the minimally working Hello World program. First, let's take a look at Express. Straightforward, isn't it? Just a couple of lines of code and a full-fledged web server is ready to receive users on the specified endpoint on port 3000. And here's how the same functionality can be implemented with Fiber. Let's take a look at the other HTTP methods which we can use to describe the endpoint in our web application. Let's start, per tradition, with the Express. Now let's take a look at how the same basic HTTP methods look in Fiber. 
even though Express and Fiber are written in different programming languages and by different development teams, they have a very similar technical design of built-in functions and working principles. This is what makes Fiber so special among many Go-based web frameworks. And have you already tried Fiber? This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We help top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We share the latest news about tech trends and innovations. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. Also, share which topics we need to cover next on our channel. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.